Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to create realistic ground shadow in about 60 seconds. Here, what do we got? Here's the original shot. Here's the ground shadow. How did I do it? Very easy. I'm just going to delete this layer, start from scratch. All right, start your timer. First step, you want to create a new layer once you've got your original image loaded in here. Now you want to go over to your brush tool, click on your brush tool, and then go to the top here, and you want to select a soft round brush. There's one under general brushes, which works just fine. Select that soft round brush, and then now select the size of your brush, depending on how big you kind of think the uh, shadow will be. Uh, also, you will also want to check the color. I have the color not quite at black, but pretty close to back, a very, very, very dark gray because that's the look I'm going for. Now I've got my soft brush, round brush part of me. I am going to add just a daub of paint here and then maybe one right there and maybe one there. So something like that. Doesn't look realistic yet, not to worry. Let's go back to our move tool. Now, when I click on that daub of paint, I'm gonna hold down Command. If you're on a Mac or Control, if you're on a PC and T. This opens up free transform. Now, watch this. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. So you see what's happening here? I'm getting a nice elongated shadow. I'll place it in the middle. And then of course you can adjust this as you see fit depending on the type of image you're making a shadow for. But in this one, the sun is right above and it's shooting down on the ball and it's creating this shadow. You can of course move it over to the other side and make it bigger or smaller depending on the time of day, if you wanted to really go for it, you can have something like that. But either way, that's all the that's all the effect, that's all the techniques you need to know to make realistic ground shadow. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.